early, y'all. <laughs> it is 6.30 in the morning. We are on the way to Harper's appointment. I got Daddy-O with me. <laughs> and just Harper. She's half awake, half asleep. <laughs> So, the hospital isn't too far from us, so thankfully we didn't have to, like, get up super early, and I think we beat all the morning traffic. So, yeah. <laughs> but we're heading to, did I say this already? I don't even know what I said. We're heading to Harper's MRI appointment, is what I'm getting at. No, you can park over here. So, always one of the discussions in a big van is, are we going to fit in a parking garage? <laughs> it's always scary. I'm glad he's here to drive. And there's plenty of spots. Small spots. Yeah, well, you can fit in them. I can, yeah. <laughs> Can you say hi? No. Yeah. Okay, it's already 10.45. We have been back home for probably close to 30 minutes now. Um, she did well. She didn't cry at all, which is what I was hoping for. Nathan was able to go back with her. He does better in those situations than I do. He, he just directs the kids better. <laughs> I worry more. <laughs> um, but there was nothing super obvious that they, you know, that like just dumped out, which we expected that. But we won't get the results back for a week. So, anyways, um, we're home and she's doing good. So she's a little cranky. So is Reagan. <laughs> but, you know, toddler life, right? <laughs> hey, Harper. Harper. <laughs> you say hi? Can you blow a kiss? <laughs> Say bye. Bye. So it has been just over a week since Harper's MRI. Um, and I don't know if I shared, she had to be sedated for the MRI. I don't know if I shared that and that's why we were kind of nervous about um, having it done. Because just any time that your child is put under it is just a little you know, nerve wracking. So anyways, obviously it went well. She woke up rather quickly. Um, and we actually were home by like, so her appointment was at 7.30. We had to be there at 6.45. We were home by like 9.40, I think it was, which is pretty quick. Um, so anyways, one thing was about the murmur that they had heard. We weren't sure if they were gonna go ahead and go along with the procedure or not, but they ended up finding out in her records that she did actually have an echocardiogram done when we were trying to figure out what was the matter with her. And the echo was ordered due to hearing a murmur. I did not remember that, so I obviously didn't relay that to the doctors. Um, so they did go ahead with the MRI because there had been an echo previously done. However, the doctors still want us to get another echo done and that is actually gonna be this upcoming week. So anyways, side note there. So, that's how come I was nervous about her having an MRI. Um, so I got the call yesterday that the MRI is completely clear of anything that would be related to her having seizures. So I knew that's what they were gonna say, but you know, we needed that confirmation. Um, so I have it and we are excited and we all cheered that, you know, Harper's test results were normal. Um, she will have another EEG done at the beginning of July and then for seeing she's already had one of those Done I think at a year old And it was normal as well um, So I expect this one to be normal as well, and then we will start the weaning process off her medication Which is exciting and nerve-wracking nerve Because um, you don't know if the medicine is keeping the seizures at bay because she hasn't had an episode so but you don't know until you take them off. <laughs> but anyway, so um, like I said, we are super excited and 
relieved and so thankful to God. Like, just beyond thankful that she is doing so well. At the beginning of all this, when we found out that she was having seizures, she went up to a minute and a half without breathing. And the doctors literally told me, we don't know what her um, quality of life is going to be. We don't know if she's going to walk or talk or any of those things. And obviously, no mother wants to hear those words. Um, but she has <laughs> surpassed every milestone. Um, and even the neurologist said, this is when we know that there is a higher power, is what he said. And I said, you mean God? <laughs> and he said, he didn't like come right out and said yes, but he said, I know that you believe that, you know, God healed her. Um, and he just said, this is when, as a doctor, that we just have to write down, it's a miracle. So, we are very thankful. So, anyways, thank you for watching, um, and we will see you in the next video. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.